I know that people expect a lot of humor from you, right? Because you post these mm -hmm. very funny videos. To, to do they expect like everything to be comedy when they come on your own? And then are they surprised that you are like actually and do, doing sexual things and like being set for some reason, like, because I've only seen that side of you. I, I, I don't know. I don't imagine you like actually being like, do you like it when I touch my, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. That's exactly what it is. So like I, and it's such a weird balance. I've actually made like complaining, like joke, funny videos on Twitter about people who will subscribe and it's either there. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are a whole ton of people who are in the middle who are like, I like that I can log on and I'm laughing while I'm off. I, that's a combination I wasn't expecting, but I enjoy it. It makes me happy. So like, that's always really nice. But usually I get, I get these messages and it's either one or the other where someone is like, I didn't realize that you were just going to be like, having fun and like doing funny things while you were naked and like doing spicy things. I thought it was just going to all be like TikToks. And then there's this guy who's like, I, I'm pretty upset that your was out. I really like, I, I, I was expecting, or, or maybe I've already messed up this analogy. There's one guy who always who was obsessed with like, why aren't there videos of you getting on your own whenever you didn't advertise that at all? And why are you like, why is it like, not why are you even naked? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. there's always the back and forth. I'm like, I, you paid $6 to be here. Uh, that's, that's how I feel. Oh my God. Because I also have an and you know, there's a lot of things that I don't do. Like I don't do, I only do softcore nude. I don't do, I don't do open, like mm -hmm. I don't do any of that stuff. And it's, I'm very fucking clear about that. You know, you come in, there's an intro <laughs> message. I'm very clear. And like almost every time is like, so do you have any close up shots of you spreading your, I'm like, no, no, I sure don't. And well, well, what about your, <laughs> no, no, I don't have that either. Isn't that strange? <laughs> oh, and they're just like well 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 then like why am i here i'm like i don't know you tell me <laughs> you paid six dollars okay i just spent six dollars on a frappuccino at starbucks and i got to drink that and i drank that in like two minutes and you just paid for 30 days for six dollars so go fuck yourself yes like i went to burger king the other day to get an impossible whopper and I was like, God damn it, this impossible Whopper. It wasn't even a fucking meal, but this motherfucker cost more than my ass. And people still get upset at me in my DMs on OnlyFans because I wasn't getting down all day on live stream on Dude. I know. And it's funny because it's like, it's also too like they act like you're holding, like I'm not denying you food and shelter. Okay. You don't need this in your life to get by. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so true. That is so fucking true. And like, the thing is, there are so many people who are like, you know what, I paid $6 to be here, whatever I get is going to just be a fun time for me. And then if it's not worth renewing for another 30 days of daily content, whether that be a picture or a 45 minute video of me doing whatever the hell I'm doing. But right. like, <laughs> there are always those people who are just like I, I got a message like two days ago it was like like you never get fucked. I'm 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 pissed off and I've never like resubscribing ever again and I was like I just messaged him back I was like did it make you feel like really good to send me that message yeah like, did it just make your so hard to send me that message and tell me that you could not wait to not be subscribed to me anymore because I don't <laughs> I'm not taking dick on my own. <laughs> well, you know, for that six dollars that you're about to lose, you better you better hurry up and do that. Right. Like if you're that hard pressed for your six dollars, please don't spend that money on my own. Yeah. Spend it on an impossible spend it on an impossible burger. That's fucking right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> It's it's interesting the and you know obviously you're getting kind of uh, well people are generally entitled anyways but it's the entitlement that some fans feel over 
workers is really quite remarkable. And I've noticed too that the people who pay the least amount of money are the ones who complain the most. And then the people who spend the most amount of money are the ones that are the most grateful because I'm sure on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have, you know, like a small few core group of super dedicated fans that like just love and respect you no matter what you do. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.